welcome back to my channel. My name is Deanna and today I'm doing a tutorial on the look I'm currently wearing. I decided to utilize some of my Wet n Wild and Drugstore shadows. I really wanted to do a look kind of using some emerald greens and olive tones. I haven't really done anything like that on my channel so I decided to step out of my comfort zone, do something a little bit different for the holidays and of course this would not be a holiday tutorial without using a pop of glitter on the inner lid. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching. Alright, to start off, I'm doing my MAC Panelay Paint Pot and priming my eyes. I do this in every single video, so it's nothing new. I decided I also wanted to take my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette today. I'm taking that eyelid shade and actually using it as a crease color because it is kind of like a nice neutral brown. So I'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush and running that through my crease. Next, we're going to go in on the other side with the actual crease color. We're going to take that on a little bit of a smaller blending brush, kind of the same kind of tapered crease brush, just a little bit smaller, and I'm placing that from inner corner to outer corner and really blending that in. We are doing kind of like a halo smoky eye today, so this is going to be one of the main colors that's going to run as our transition dark shade. Now to add in a little color, I'm taking this L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in the color Golden Emerald. It's a beautiful, perfect emerald color. I'm taking that on a flat shader brush and kind of putting that on my outer corner and my inner corner. This is going to be the main color we are using for our Halo Smoky Eye. And as you can see, I'm just going in with that same blending brush we used to apply that darker transition shade and just going back in and blending everything out so we have no harsh lines. I decided I wanted a little bit more of a warm kind of tone brown for my transition and blending shade. You can use any bronzer or any other powder you have. You don't have to use this specific one. But I just thought this really completed the eye look and really helped blend everything out. So because we lost some of the pigmentation while we were blending, I'm just going back in and layering that golden emerald shade from L'Oreal just right on top of where we placed it originally so we could build up some of the color and have a really nice color payoff. Now for the fun part, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Glitter Liner in the color Rapture. This is a beautiful, just true gold glitter eyeliner shade. It's beautiful. I know Urban Decay has a similar one. NYX has a similar one, so you don't have to use a specific one. But it's a beautiful, just true gold. And I just apply that on my inner lid where I kind of left it open. You also want to make sure to let it dry. If you open your eyes, you might get creasing with it. So just keep your eyes closed, let it dry for a couple seconds, and you'll be good to go. So I kind of wanted to give this look a little bit more depth by giving my outer corner a little bit more color and deepness to it. So I'm taking that definer shade on the other side of the palette, it's like a really nice dark brown, and just placing that on my outer V. Now for eyeliner, I wanted to do a little bit of a slight wing, so I'm taking my NYX Black Liquid Liner and just kind of winging it out. I really love using this eyeliner because it is just so matte, just like it says. It's perfect, it's really easy to use. The brush is super nice and slim, so you get a really nice wing on it. And I've just been really loving it lately. Now to prep my lashes for falsies, I'm just taking a light coat of my Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. And for falsies today, I know I just cannot stay away from these. They're just my favorite, absolutely favorite. I'm using the Coco Goddess Lashes and just applying those right on top. These are the perfect lashes for this look. They're very dramatic, very voluminous, but they still give off that crisscross vibe so you can still see the glitter and all of the gorgeousness on your lid. Now moving on to the face, I'm taking my Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer. This is awesome at kind of blurring all your imperfections, filling in your pores, and it also does mattify a little bit on me. I love this primer. It is awesome. I also like layering it with my NYX CC Cream in green. This is going to really counteract my redness, and this has been a must for me. I cannot do my foundation routine without using this anymore. It's been a holy grail for sure.
And I have also fallen back in love with my L'Oreal True Matte Foundation. I have not used this in so long and decided to pull it out and I was like, why haven't I used this in so long? It is awesome. It's a really beautiful foundation. I mixed the colors N2 and N3 to get my perfect shade and just applying that with a flat top kabuki brush from Sigma. For concealer today, I'm applying my Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in the color 3. This is perfect. It's actually one of my favorite concealers right now. It's just really lightweight and gives a lot of coverage. So I'm just applying that in an upside down triangle motion on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead to brighten everything up. And I have to apply it with my favorite Morphe G2 brush. This is a beautiful brush. It's very similar to the Sigma one. It's just a little bit cheaper and it blends everything out flawlessly. Now to set my concealer in all the areas on my face that I highlighted, I'm just taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with a highlighting brush from Real Techniques and just placing that on there. I'm not baking or anything with this, I'm just kind of setting it down. I don't really like to bake, I don't know why, just not into that trend right now. <laughs> And to set the rest of my face makeup, I'm just taking my ever so loved Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. I think I'm in the color light medium, if I believe. It's a beautiful foundation. It leaves your skin with like a velvet matte finish. I love it. And it's just a lot of coverage as well. Now, of course, I have to chisel out those cheekbones. So I'm taking that Kat Von D shade and light palette and taking those two shades and applying that with a, I think it's a MAC 138 brush and really packing that color on. And then I go in with my MAC 109 brush and kind of blend everything out. This is just a technique I've been using recently and I really love it. It gives my face chiseled cheekbones, but it also gives that diffused look because I blend it out. I will be doing a contour and highlight video on my channel just so you guys know how I do it on a daily basis and go really in depth with everything because I do it a little differently, but I love the way I do it. On top of contouring my face, I also like to bring a little bit of warmth back to my skin, so I'm just taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and applying that with a big Morphe brush and kind of swirling that in a 3E motion. For blush today, I'm taking this e.l.f. Pressed Mineral Blush in the color Sweet Retreat. This is just a really nice neutral pink. I didn't want to do something too over the top because we do have a lot going on on the eyes and we will have a neutral lip but I just didn't want something super, super warm and bright. For highlighter to kind of match that pink blush, I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the color Peach Lights and applying that with my Anastasia highlighter brush on the tips of my cheekbones and I kind of bring it up on the tops of my temples as well. Now going back to the eyes, I'm just taking that definer shade again and kind of placing that on my lower lash line. I really just wanted to smoke out my lower lash line, but not too much, so I'm just using a little bit of a small pencil brush to kind of place that color down and be very precise with it. Now taking that same brush, we applied the L'Oreal Infallible Pigment. I'm just using the same one and not using any extra product just to blend out that definer shade we just placed down. To brighten up things just a little bit, I'm taking my Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner in Nude and just placing that on my waterline. Now going back to the Wet Mod Palette, I'm just taking that highlight color and placing that in my inner corner and on my brow bone just to bring a little bit of light and brightness to our look because it is pretty dark and smoky. To finish off the eyes, I'm just going to place a light layer of my MAC Giga Black Lash Mascara on my lower lashes. This is my favorite mascara ever just does the job and it's perfect. <laughs> I'm also going to be applying my Too Faced Perfect Nude Lip Liner to my lips. This is a beautiful lip liner if you want to overline your lips a little bit. It just blends everything in and it's awesome. It's very creamy, very easy to work with. On top of that, I'm going to be placing my Sephora Rouge Cream Lipstick in the number 17, a beautiful kind of neutral pink. And then, of course, I have to set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to complete my look. Alright, so that's it for this look. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.